Dear students, how are you? Today we have an English lesson. Please take your copy book and your books. Be ready for the lesson. Today's topic is called the car lunch dinner. Please go to the page number 12, which is about blood types. Salimis Dirmia, Bugungu Kunum, read the living jazz Ketan, unik juga di nasmas. Bungut akar mas, kontroler jaina bolada. These are the vocabularies for today's lesson. Please read and repeat. Sudir de, uh, kita lemas. Antibody, antigen, blood transfusion, clot. Clump, immunology, paternity test, pathological anatomy, plasma, platelet. Write down these new words on your copy book with their translations. Daktirimizge jana sözlerde autarmasinin birge jazı bağımız. We are going to speak about one of the greatest scientists whose name is called Karl Lenschtainer. Karl Lenschtainer was a scientist who discovered the blood groups and his work allowed the blood transfusions to become possible. Bunge taqrib Karl Lenschtainer jayinda bulmaq. Karl Lenschtainer ul alimdegi Yen ulu alımdardın biri, ol kanın türlerini anıqtağın. Osu bayqağının arkasında kan kuyuğa mümkün olan. We have a pre-reading task. In this task, you have to put these words into the correct places, like 1, 2, 3, 4. If any unknown words, please use your dictionary and find out its meaning and then do this task. Birinci tapsırma. Bu tapsırmada birilgen sözlerde kerekti oruna koyunuz. Eğer de beytan sözler bolsa sözdükke salıp mağanasın bilip alınız. Now let's watch the video. Karl Landsteiner Karl Landsteiner was an Austrian biologist and immunologist. He began to carry out research into the composition of human blood before he had finished university. He spent five years after he graduated working at labs in Zurich, Würzburg and Munich. Landsteiner later worked at a hospital in Vienna, where he continued his studies and developed his interest in immunology. Over the next 20 years, he carried out research, wrote papers, and even worked as a professor of pathological anatomy. He contributed to many different areas of immunology, but the one he is most famous for is his discovery of blood groups in 1901, which he later won the Nobel Prize for in 1930. His work continued that of another scientist called Landois, who, in 1875, noticed that human blood clumps together when it comes into contact with animal blood, meaning humans cannot receive blood transfusions from animals. However, Landsteiner pointed out that this same reaction can happen when blood is transferred from one human to another. On closer inspection of blood cells, Landsteiner classified them into several groups, which he named A, B, AB, and O, these groups are named based on antigens present on the surface of the blood cell and antibodies present in the blood. From this, he discovered that in order for a successful blood transfusion to take place, the person donating the blood must have a blood group that is compatible with the person who receives it. Today, Karl Landsteiner's work saves millions of lives each year. If you or anyone you know has ever had a blood transfusion, it's all down to the hard work and research done by this incredible scientist. Exercise 2. In this task, you need 
to read the text again and find out who was Karl Landsteiner and how is he related to blood type compatibility. Bull tapsirmada sizdir teksti qayta oqib tümendegi suraqtarga javab beresizdir. Karl Landsteiner ol kim? Ol qan tobining uylesimdiligine qalay qatsi bar? Exercise 3 is your homework. At first, you have to read the text again and then complete the following phrases. Үшінші жатты ол үй жұмысы. Ол тапсырмада сіз текісті оқып, төмендегі сөйлемдердегі боз орындарды толтырып жазасыз. And if you have a question, about today's lesson, you may write on my WhatsApp chat. Thank you for your listening. Good luck.